Hi and welcome to the channel. I'm Sam and this is the Crafty Blinder Van Build. A little while ago we installed this little device here. Did you watch it? Just holds the door exactly where you want it. So you don't have to have the door fully open but we like that so much we're gonna add another two i want the door so it'll come a little bit further back it doesn't collide with our wheel step and i also want it at the front so we can have the door just slightly ajar and that'll just let the air flow around in the cab without having the door wide open so our area that we live in can be ventilated and we can have a little bit of privacy as well. So one there, this one here, and a third one just there. And we're on quite a steep incline there. I've tilted the camera, but if I level up the camera, <laughs> you may be able to tell exactly what sort of angle we're at. So that's the that's a camera level there. So hmm, doesn't really show you. If I come back a little bit with it, you might get to see. So the whole project, I've built the van on a drive. The top bit there is level, but from this point here it drops away, and that's about say six six inches over two three meters so it's quite a, quite a decent little runoff and it holds our door no problem at all it's never fell off that seat it's always stayed in position once we've got it locked out that's why I like it that's why I'm gonna put two more on I might put the camera a little bit further away so you can see what we're doing and that's that's the idea for tonight I've got two more here fiddle of epoxy resin, two more of these, and they are very, very fine little things, they're about seven quid, I'll put a link in the description so you can see for yourself, but you literally glue them in place, that one's been on there, for about two years now, 18 months, never fell off, what I've done is I've put a little mark on there, with where the wheel need to sit. I need to reposition the camera down. So I'll let you have a little look where we're at now. <coughs> Should we go right in? So just in there there's a little wheel. And what that little wheel will do is just roll up it's going to be a little bit awkward this it does roll up but obviously we need to glue it in situ maybe if I can take a little bit of weight off there you go you heard it lock in there that's what it does the wheel sits in the little cup just under there and it holds it now I think having that there Let's just zoom out. Having that there, and having oh, <laughs> having the door open just this far, we've still got our privacy, and we can still have a little bit more air flowing. If it's kind of a warm night like it is tonight, it's nice to just have the door like that. enough talking about it let's get it done I'll show you how simple this is first thing you want to do is find the position where you want the door to stop so as I let's see if you can see what I'm seeing let's look along here so as the door goes along it'll start to roll in there. 
So round about there is the point where it's flush to the side of the van. I'm just going to put my pencil mark there. Yeah. That's where we want to be. And that will be the centre for our wheel. So that little hump there. Put a centre line on that. And that will line up there when we glue it. So I've already done that on the back one. There's a slight pencil mark there. That's exactly where it wants to be. So now I've just got to prep this surface. Well, I am cheating a little bit here. I did this earlier. I'm just going to show you what I did. So, first of all, I've got some fine emery cloth. Just give the surface a good key. Each side of it, like well past where you need to be. Oh, don't lose that bit. Same here on the front of this one. I never learned, do I? Then the second thing is a good degreaser, fast grain degreaser. Obviously over the years, this area has been lubricated, so we do want to get as much, well, all the grease off there, to be honest. And there you go, you can see it, and I've already done that once. So clean side to the cloth. Give it a good hard rub, get everything off, and again, I might just do that a couple of times. That's better. Clean part of the cloth again. Yeah, that's clean now. So no, no grease on there anymore. I'll just give that a few minutes to dry off. Now I'm using Loctite Extreme Epoxy. It's good for wood, ceramic, metal, stone, plastic and loads more. And initially it'll take one minute to set and this is all you need with this product. That was done with the same stuff and it's never failed. So what we'll do is, we'll shut that door because we don't need it open again. We will mix this up as per the instructions and see what it says. Well let's just read through the instructions. Lightly sand the surface, we've done that. Um, ensure the surface you want to bond are clean and dry, we've done that. Remove nozzle from side of syringe. Two hours later. The instructions always make things sound harder than they actually are. So I'm just going to show you this. Basically, you twist off that top, like so. It tells you to keep this part for later use. And that just pushes on there and keeps everything nice and dry and sealed. Um, so you can reuse it. That part, discard. We'll put it in the bin later. Shit. <laughs> I managed to get some on my hands, so let's get rid of that first before I end up sticking my fingers together. Now, the best thing about this is, I don't know if you can see that. As you pump these two chemicals out of the syringe into this nozzle, the nozzle's designed to mix the chemicals together in the correct amount, so by the time it gets to the end, it is the perfect mix solution to secure what you want to hold in place. This is idiot proof. So that just quickly clips in like that, I'll show you that again. On there, locks. Which way did it turn? I've not got my glasses on, see, so technically blind. Yeah, I had it locked in place. Let me have a little look. Yeah, that's it locked in place. So it just sits like that. Right. What you need to do then is just, like a doctor's syringe, just start pushing it up. So you get rid of the air. I need to keep my glasses on for this.
the hell's going on there? Is it coming up? Is it mixing? Oh, there we go. You can see it now, it's about halfway up. So, we want the air out of here. And there we go, we're right at the tip now. So, you apply this to one surface. Let's give that a little key. Want to remember? That's good. Set that one up there. Do this one now. That's that completely degreased. So let's start with the back one. And all you do is apply it. Easy said and done. Just like this. So I'm putting lots on it. And then we'll just drop it in there. Now we don't push it all the way to the back because we don't want dirt or debris to build up on it. So again, find our mark, which is there. Again, putting a little bit on this one. Shit. <laughs> I've got it all over my fingers there, as you can see. Let's just give that a wipe. Right, let's get some degreaser on that. We'll take this nozzle off because I don't want it to seal on there. There we go, take that off. We'll put this black cap on. Seal that for future use. But what we'll do is we'll, we'll try and just work it off. Right, that isn't working, so I think Methylated spirit is in order. I thought the degreaser would have worked, but it does actually say on the epoxy to use methylated spirits. And it is it is working. That's good. So there's still time to adjust it. Even at this point. So wipe that off and try and deal with the excess down the back. We might just deal with that once it's gone off. And here comes the rain. <laughs> you couldn't write this tonight. Again, that's settled out all around it. So we'll try and work a little bit of that off. We'll try and beat the rain. So I've got a brand new blade here. What we'll do is just run it along the edge. Try and get underneath here. Yeah, I think we've got that one. And try and just trim the excess off down this back edge. You coming in? Interference manager's back. There's a smile and a wave. People haven't seen you for a long time. Hi. <laughs> hey, Boo Boo. Hey, Boo Boo. Where you been? It's bloody raining, so let's try and get this finished before before the rain gets us. I've got this little old screwdriver that's knackered. I'll try and take the excess off with that. Right, let's just try and get this rubbish off the back. I'm quite happy that we've loosened it up enough that when it goes off we'll be able to clean it up anyway, but let's see if we can get enough off now. And we'll come and visit again tomorrow, see what it's like. I'm fearful that I'm playing with it too much now. 
we'll give this last, this front one a last little wipe to see if it can get rid of the excess on there. Yeah, I think we've got it now. While we're here, we'll give the original one a little clean up. And that there's, like I said, it's been on a couple of years now. Well, that's me done for tonight. Um, we've managed to beat the rain. We've got them two additional bump stops installed. But before I go, I'd just like to say a big thank you to everybody. We're approaching 2,000 subscribers. That's phenomenal. Um, I really do appreciate everything you do. And to kind of say thank you, every time we hit a milestone, we offer up a t-shirt or this time a hoodie and a t-shirt so there's gonna be two winners this time and um, all you have to do to enter the competition is be a subscriber number one leave a comment and like the video so what we use on our channel is a comment picker and basically I select the videos um, and I think with this one there's three others that we can choose from if you've left a comment on the last three videos or this one you're entered in the competition straight away as long as you've liked and subscribed. So there's 2,000 of you out there that watch these videos, or fast approaching 2,000. I'd love for you all to be in the competition. I'm not gonna bullshit you, it does the channel a world of good. Um, there's no other reason <laughs> to, to lie to you, because I try and keep this channel as honest as possible. I leave in my mistakes, my mess ups, all the disasters, they're all in there, and I share them with you. And it'd be nice to just try and lift the profile of the channel again and this competition helps me do that as well so there you go open honest and transparent if you'd like to win one of our hoodies or you'd like to win one of our t-shirts with a completely different design to this this one got us away got us off the ground we love it um, it'll always be a special design for us but we've gone with another design you've seen our stickers lately we're going to put a t-shirt and a hoodie together with them designs on so if you want a chance of winning that please like, subscribe and comment. It doesn't have to be anything extravagant in the comment. It can be high, a thumbs up, a smiley face, anything you want. If there's something I do that pisses you off, tell me, put it in a comment, I don't care. You know what I mean? <laughs> you tell me anything you want. But uh, it'd be nice to see them comments come flooding in. And we'll have another winner soon. Two winners soon. Anyway. Been a long day, I'm tired, I'm rambling, it's time to go. Good night, and we'll see you next time. Well, it's been a couple of days since we fitted these um, door stops, and a lot's happened in their time as well. The Queen's passed away, and the country's been kind of plunged into a state of mourning and you know, there's a sombre feel around at the minute. But anyway, let's carry on and finish off what I started to show you. So the glue has gone off. The, they're not moving anywhere. That's the one that's been on for a couple of years. And this is another new one that we fitted. They are really sturdy now. So let's show you, look at all the dust on here. I'm gonna have to, yeah, I greased that, so I think that's grease sitting on top of the dust. Oh, we'll have to do a little repair job up there. Anyway, back to what we were doing. So you've opened the door, it wheels round, runs up. Need a little bit of momentum. Runs up the ramp and falls into position. But again, that's it. That one works. That allows us to have the door slightly ajar, just to vent, um, still maintaining our privacy. We we'll run along here. That's the first position. And that allows us to have the door halfway open, and still gives us a level of privacy, but doesn't come past the end of there really. So when we're in the van. We can be washing the dishes and like doing the stuff and still be protected from the elements and the rest of it. So the third and final one, I'll just pull that off there. Just 
put it in. That lines up with the wheel. So we have a wheel table, so when that's secured on there, the door shouldn't foul the wheel table. Something we use quite a bit now. And it just shows a little bit more of this area. So we can have the door open slightly, slightly more. Oh yeah, we did a thing, look. And that's it fully open. So if you can see your sticker on there, give us a shout, thumbs up, like the video. And uh, a couple of these stickers are peeling off. It has been really hot. So hopefully that's just activated the glue a little bit. And sticking it back will do the job. There you go, Mr. Sutton. Love that sticker. Really do love it. It's a brilliant one. By the way, one of the only advertising <laughs> that we do. There you are again. The rest on the bottom are just things we like. Hang on, there's a third Vandetta. Something going on here. Bit of a conspiracy. There's Riley's sticker. <laughs> yeah, if you can see your sticker on there, there's a shout. And if you haven't got your sticker on there, come and see us. We'll do a sticker swap and we'll get it on there. Evening, so a quick little update. Now these have been on for the last couple of months now. A uh, couple of months, a couple of weeks. We've been down to... Uh, Stratford upon Avon again. We've had a lovely weekend. We've met loads more people again. But I just want to show you they are still there. There's number one, number two, the original, number three. Perfect. Still works a treat. Really love the fact that we've got more choice where we can put it. Oh yeah, we added a few more stickers. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, since <laughs> since I started making this video, we've actually reached and breached the 2,000 subscribers. So thank you very, very much. Um, had a few problems with the t-shirts and hoodies, so that's why we haven't actually done the draw yet. But if you want to comment on this video, carry on, comment on this video, share, like, do all them things you're meant to do. But um, we will be drawing the video this weekend, Sunday afternoon. Speak to you soon. And hopefully one of you is a winner. Good night. Thank you for your continued support. If you like what we're doing, consider subscribing, liking and sharing with your friends. Also, you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for watching and until next time, take care.